On new at 11, the supply chain crisis at our ports. Tonight, White House officials telling WJCL 22 News they're still working to get it under control. Our Nakaya Carrero joins us now live to tell us how Savannah is leading the way. Nakaya. Shannon, I spoke one-on-one -on -one with the port envoy for the White House Supply Chain Task Force. He says the way the supply chain runs forever has changed through the crisis, and the port of Savannah has played a huge role. Uh, we think there are other ports that will want to emulate wh what Savannah is doing. White House Administrator John Procari says the pandemic shed light on not only the supply chain, but also the moving pieces, including the port of Savannah. The reality is the pandemic laid bare what was an underlying reality, which was the good supply chain was just creaking along and barely functioning uh, even before the pandemic. Picari says one of the game changers that helped get things back on track was the pop-up ports. Which help both imports and exports. So uh, we can take imported containers coming into the U.S. through Savannah by rail several hundred miles closer to their ultimate destination where they can be transferred to truck. You know, the supply chain disruption is kind of getting back on track and now the variant is very contagious. Uh, we have an early warning network worldwide that's actually in place. So if there's disruptions in flat factories or ports or other parts of the supply chain abroad, uh, we will have some early indications of that. As progress continues to be made, Picari says they are now looking at long-term goals. For example, better data sharing throughout the supply chain. So every private sector uh, actor in that supply chain will better have, have better operational awareness. So Nakaya, what did he touch on in that White House brief press briefing earlier today? Shannon, he spoke on several different subjects in regards to the supply chain, including fees to help uh, re release containers out of the port in a timely manner, people receiving their packages in a timely manner this past holiday season, and supporting exporters fairly. Shannon, back to you. All right, some good news there. Thanks so much, Nakaya.